oh, hey, John, what are you doing in the lab this late? I was trying to do some of Professor Doty's project here. It's, uh, it's not treating me so hot. Yeah, what's, what's it about? <sighs> well, I'm trying to link it up with my senior design project, and I have to do this calibration with spirometry equipment, and uh, it's not really making any sense. Trying to make this correlation between volume displacement, the lungs, and uh, the chest displacement that happens when you breathe. But um, you know, I'm trying to use this strain gauge and the spirometry equipment. But I, I, I don't know. What I'm do. oh, well, uh, I think I can help you out. Let's uh, go over to the board here and uh, jot some stuff down. So the first thing that we're going to want to establish is what our system is. Now, based on what you're telling me, we have an input of the change in volume, and you want to get an output of displacement in centimeters. So we want to identify the system that we have. So we're going to have a spirometer, a strain gauge, and obviously some kind of conversion factor. So based on the input change in, vo change in volume, that's going to correspond to a change in voltage from our strain gauge. And this change in voltage is going to correspond with a change in displacement, which will be our output. And, a part, and an important part of doing your testing is making sure that your equipment is calibrated. For spirometry calibration, we're going to need three items. First is a pump. Next, you will then need spirometry hardware and appropriate software, which we happen to have in the computer lab. The steps that we'll take in calibrating our spirometry is we'll attach the three-liter pump to the spirometry equipment with the handle out. Next, we'll activate the software and ensure that it is running properly. And we'll slowly exhale the pump and verify that the screen is showing three liters if this is the case, then your spirometry equipment is calibrated correctly. All right, to calibrate our strain gauge, we're going to want a strain gauge, a couple of different sets of weights, calipers or a tape measure, and of course the appropriate software. And again, we have that on the computers here. So the first step we're going to take is to attach our strain gauge to a static device in order to hold it there when we apply weight to it. We're then going to record the unloading resting position and use this as our datum for the rest of the testing. Then we'll turn on the software and allow time for equilibrium to occur within the voltage that the strain gauge is outputting. And we'll slowly apply our loads and record the displacement and the maximum voltage change that occurs with these loads. Great. But I also noticed a consistent time constant in the decrement of the amplitude during testing. What do you think about that? Oh, that's interesting. Well, I think we can apply the count cows method in order to find the time constant that's occurring within the set of weights that we're uh, placing on. But first, let's get to testing. Man, that was intense. I didn't know calibration could be so crazy. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. For it. But I did notice that decrement you were talking about when we were using our strain gauge. And so the way we're going to apply our counting tau is to calculate 63.2% of our max amplitude. And the time that we get from this will correspond with our time constant. And then we'll repeat the same process for t equals 2 seconds, 3 seconds, and 4 seconds. So for our 1 kilogram weight, we found that our time constant was 2.82 seconds. For 500 kilograms, it was 2.63. And for 200 grams, it was 2.23 seconds. That's great. And now we have that linear fit for voltage to displacement like we wanted, giving us our conversion factor. So using our calibration and counting tiles method, we were able to success, successfully take a volume input, put it through a system of a spirometer, strain gauge, and conversion factors, and get a displacement in centimeters. 
Well, guys, I think we did it. I think you're oh, right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Time. Yeah. Time. Woohoo. Yeah. Let's get out of here. So, uh, Jeff, was that stuff on the board the whole time? Yeah, yeah, it was. But uh, when did you get here, Adam? I've been here the whole time. Okay, so your heart is broken.